Hi everybody, I'm Patrick, and uh, I want to make a couple videos for things I wish I got to like for things I wish I knew when I was 19 or 20, and I was early like in my career, and like uh, things I wish I would have known. And one of the things, the first video I want to make is about lyrics. Um, I gotta be honest with you, I kind of suck at lyrics. <laughs> I mean, I'm not bad at it. I, I, what I mean by that is I have to work really, 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 really hard to get anything that's worth keeping. Um, some people are much more naturally gifted at lyrics than me, uh, much more from sound first. I studied a lot more music than I had studied literature. Um, so it was a lot, it was a big learning curve as I got older to get better at lyrics. And I guess here's some of the things I learned that I wish I knew when I was 19. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to split up into three things. So and I wrote down notes so I don't get totally lost and crazy. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go back to top. Okay. The first thing is first, I think... The most important thing, I think it's the most important one in a lot of ways, is that you kind of just always have to have your ears and eyes open. And I, and, I, and I know that like most people think songs always come from like really big moments in life, and they do, but a lot of the, the important details and lyrics are kind of like little mundane aspects of, of situations that really help tell a big story. And I, I really feel my day in general is 24-7, my eyes and ears, I'm just like, looking for lyrics constantly. I'm never not looking. And uh, I, I would never underestimate the little mundane details. And I have a couple examples when I meant by that. So if I take like a song, a, 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 like, let's take the Leonard Cohen. Leonard Cohen, I mean, everybody loves his lyrics. Uh, funny enough with Le Leonard Cohen, I kind of fell in love with Leonard Cohen through his interviews before his music. I did ever get a chance to listen to his interviews? Uh, there's something about him that I just find him so touching, a little bit simplified than the lyrics he does, but still has the same depth. Um, but one of these examples of one of his really famous songs in Susanna, I think my favorite part of the whole song, is the lyric when he says, there it goes, uh, and she feeds you tea and oranges that come all the way from China. I find that line, like, out of all the lines in Suzanne, like, there's something about that mundane little object in her house that you just, you know everything about her after. And that's just, you can just tell he's a really observant person to come up with a lyric like that. And then another example I was going to go that I thought was really fun, which is kind of like a, a sentimental observation, Frank Ocean, which I think is really, really great at observations. And I like, what I like about Frank Ocean is I find them very humble observations. They're not like super fancy. They're not the angels and devils and all that stuff. And what I love, this one I love is, you know, we get older and summer's not as long as it used to be. And I find that like such a lovely observation. You hear it, you're like, oh man, and it's... It's kind of, it's not the biggest thing in the world, but it's a really nice little, a little kind of thing to be aware of. So it tells me that someone's like completely aware, always looking at, at words and just being aware about life that are mundane things that happen. Uh, another one is why your guitar gently weeps of the Beatles. I love the part of the verse where he's sweeping his floor because it's dirty. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's not trying to be a poet. He's just like, it's just a nice little element that you're like, oh. Um, another example of like having your eyes open from a personal experience so like, like songs like okay, Big Bird for example. I was I was invited to a musician's house. Uh, I was in Vietnam, and uh, I'm like, you absolutely say yes to all adventures you possibly can. You go there, and then uh, I, and you always go there with your tail between your legs. You never know what kind of magical gifts people will give you. Uh, that that time I, I had walked into the back room, and there was like hundreds of songbirds, and in the corner there was this like little cage with the biggest bird in it and I just I just asked the, the fellow who owned the place like why would you put the biggest bird in a small cage and he just said oh you put a big bird in a cage in a small cage and he sings you a song and I was like oh and I, and I put it in my pocket and that's I would have never had that song lyric if I wasn't like always eyes open always ears open say yes to every adventure and kind of go with life and, and, and be a watchful eye another example here comes a river I found this really lovely photo I was walking through uh, I think I was in Hong Kong walking through the streets but it's not about Hong Kong. I just found this lovely picture of, uh, of a flood of a city under the water. And I was like, I just put it in my pocket. And so I just keep on collecting little ideas everywhere I go.